hi guys manual design to the aero code i welcome you to the course preview of this course we are going to be showing you or enlightening you more about the course content and what this course is all about so this course is actually divided into four parts we have part one part two part three and part four so basically in the part one section we'll be dealing with the introduction to the aero code we discuss generally about the inception, how the aero code begins, and how the co code was transformed from one step to the other. When we are done with this, we talk about beef history, about the commencement of the aero code in the introduction section. Then we now discuss generally the difference, or let me say the, a good comparison, similarities, differences between the BS code which is the British standard and the European code, which is the new European standard. We now dive more into Euro code 2 because in this course, we are going to be using a practical project that is going to be a concrete structure. So Euro code 2 is a code, standard code for design of concrete structure. So we dive more into it and we elaborate more on it. Then we talk about the design philosophy this is very important because you need to understand the philosophy in which the, the code is based on before you can design any structural elements with the code. So we talk generally about different kind of design philosophies in structural design. Then we now elaborate more on the part in which the European code was based on. Then we discuss about design life of structures. We discuss about actions on structures. This is very important. For you to be able to design anything, you need to understand the actions, in other words, the loadings on that structures. Then we discussed about the design parameters. This is also very, very important. Before you carry out any design, we need to understand the parameter in which you want to design with. Under this topic, we talk about the minimum cover. We talk about strength of steel, strength of concrete, factor of safety. We talk about design resistance to fire and all those stuff all those preliminary informations will come under part one under design parameters so the second part of the project is the most interesting part because this part is where we are going to start the practical content so this is the picture you are looking at is going to be the course project the tutor is going to be using for the tutorial that is for the course so under this part, the tutor is going to be showing you how to create general arrangements. This project is actually a commercial building. So it was designed and we are now using it for the tutorial of this course. So that you'll be able to understand structural design practically using the European code. So this project was actually designed using the British code. Well, we are using the European code to redesign it. So, in the second part of this course, as I was saying, ha uh, is going to be divided into two parts. The course tutor we have a project example is going to work with, and also the students or the course participant. We also have a course project they have to deliver at the end of the course. So this course is hundred percent practical, divided into two parts. We have the GA and the structural layout. The building that I showed you earlier, we already have the complete architectural design. So in this course, we are going to be generating general arrangement for the project. We have two suspended floor. It's a G plus two building, commercial building. So we generate the floor layout. We generate the staircase layout. We also generate the foundation layout for the building. This is complete practical on how we are going to do it. Then we also, after, do, after generating the structural layouts, they will now move on to the building analysis. So under this part, you are going to explain in details how to estimate your loadings. Once you understand load estimation, we explain how to transfer and distribute the loadings before you now start your design. You know, when you are discussing about structural design, you are actually talking about three phases generally. You have the loading phase, you have the analysis phase, 
and you also have the design phase so under this second part which is the part two we are going to be discussing the loading phase as well as the analysis phase of the of the project then we now move to the top part in the top part we are going to be discussing about design so this top part is also practical so we are going to be doing slab design you know we have already generated structural layout from the structural layout we already know our slab we already know the number of slab we have the number of beam we have the columns we have so in the third part we are now going to start designing them we design the slab we design the staircase we design the beam we design the column and we also design the foundation the type of foundation to be used will depend on the soil condition that we have so when we are done with that then another thing another benefit of this course is that we are going to be generating a, an calculation sheet excel sheet for euro code design based on the euro code for each of these structural elements for the slab for the staircase for the beam from the column and for the foundation and all the student is going to be having access to all of them without paying anything then we now move to the last part of the course the last part of the course is where we are now going to be bringing out our design results we are going to be setting detailing rules detailing for slab detailing for column foundation beams and staircase according to the european standard these are the important things you need to understand about our course manner design to the euro code with all this explanation i've given i'm sure you will be so much interested in this course and we are actually waiting for you in the class click on the link and try to register for this course see you in the class thank you